Other composers have embraced new technology with innovative new projects. Composer Matt Pitzinger, inspired by Libertaria, has started work on his epic neo-baroque opera, Aetius. Aetius has a definite cinematic look and takes machinima opera to a new level of art. UK-based composer and programmer Lee Scott will premiere his unique social media opera, The Village, in spring 2015, an exciting opera set in an animated online virtual world parallel and affected directly by our own. This social media opera evolves in pseudo real time over a month at www.thevillageopera.com. The libretto and vocal lines are created by Lee Scott, but are then morphed through the creative hands of international composers, rethinking the very idea of authorship in the digital age. What started out as a request for fans to post a video singing his song Sleep on YouTube grew into a worldwide online choir created from hundreds of videos from excited fans. Eric Whitaker created a worldwide phenomenon with his virtual choirs. Working with a talented video editor, Whitaker compiled hundreds of fan videos into a massive virtual choir, adding in video game inspired animation Legendary composer Pauline Oliveros continues to break ground with cutting-edge technology. In 2006, Oliveros conducted a unique musical experiment between the Deep Listening Institute, Mills College, and dancers in France over the internet in real time. Today, the telematic circle, an idea devised by Pauline Oliveros from these early experiments, involves dozens of institutions that are part of the research consortium Internet2. Over 250 universities and corporations are dedicated to advancing internet technology. The telematic circle conducts telepresent concerts worldwide. To reach the 21st century audience, composer Alex Shapiro moved her music to the stage of Second Life an online gaming virtual world where avatars attended virtual concerts of works like Below for contrabass, flute, and electronics. Recently, Shapiro has explored live video chat with a series of works called Lights Out. She personally chats with middle school band students online, asking for their input and ideas in the creation of new musical works. These ideas are compiled online and incorporated into her commissions. Works like the Lights Out Project involve younger generations in the creation of contemporary music using technology used by today's tech-savvy teens. These composers use technology like social media, real-time internet collaboration, and virtual reality to create new exciting 21st century musical performances, taking classical music to the cutting edge of technology and innovation. Other projects like Opera by You involved crowdsourcing an entire opera production from concept to libretto to score and staging using the Norway based side Reka movie, resulting in the end work Free Will performed live at the Savonlina Opera Festival, demonstrating that any musical project, even a complicated live opera production, can be completed using social media and crowdsourcing. Using the ideas behind crowdsourcing, composer Robert Voisey, director of Vox Novus, developed the 60 by 60 project. In 60 by 60, composers submit 60 second electronic works, which are then compiled by a macro composer into an eclectic one hour electronic concert. To date, the 60 by 60 project has involved the music of over 1,000 composers performed throughout Europe, Asia and the Americas, as well as interdisciplinary collaborations with dancers and filmmakers. Classical music is not dead. Classical music has evolved. There are countless composers using social media, virtual worlds, robotics, and the internet to create incredible music on a global scale. How can you use internet collaboration and technology to realize your dreams?